Console players, are you tired of putting your grass bales in here and not being able to get them out once they're fermented? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a look at 10 fermenting silos or productions, and maybe, maybe you're going to find your new favorite way to make silage. How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we are going to be taking a look at multiple different uh, fermenting silos and production facilities that you could ferment your grass into silage. Yes, we are very, very focused on silage now because we figured out in the last video that the uh, uh, storage buildings, they don't really work all the time whenever you're using grass. So what I've got here are 10 different ones. They are the grass drying, the American fermenting silos. We've got the drying fermenter, farm factory, American silos pack, silage factory, fermenting silo pack, field products factory, custom fermenting silo, and the multi-fermenter. All of these are available on ModHub for all platforms. So console, PC, doesn't matter. You're all going to be able to use these right here. Now, obviously there are some other ones on PC that are even more insane than what we've got here, but I'm going to run through the list here and show you guys based on the volume produced per month, which one I feel is the best here on this list. I'm going to start things off here by showing you a chart that I put together. In the first column, you got the name of the mod. The second column here is the cost of silo or production. If you don't have to do any other landscaping. The third column, capacity for inputs and outputs. So most of these are exactly the same. There is one of them on here, though, that you can actually store more input than you can output. The fourth column, volume produced per month. This is the column that I'm going to focus on because when you're trying to make a lot of silage, you want to be able to produce it really fast. You don't want to have to wait around for months and months and months. The fifth column here is a very important one to me because it is the accept bales column, and that means... Yes or no. Either you're going to be able to put bales into it or you're not. Now, we don't always wrap all of our bales. And sometimes when I'm cutting grass, I just want to make a bale and then come back and pick it up with an auto load trailer. And then I want to put it somewhere. Well, I was wrapping them and then storing them in my storage facility, but that didn't work when I was on the PlayStation 5. So now we're going to put them into one of these fermenting silos and I need one that will actually accept bales. Otherwise, I've got to do this with a loading wagon and I can't actually make the bales and it's going to be a lot more trips. Even though we do have some good ones that hold a lot of material, I still like bales. The last column here is going to be multiple recipes at full production. What I mean by this is if I one, run one recipe and it makes 10,000 liters over a given amount of time, if I turn on two recipes, I want it to be able to make 20,000 liters over that same amount of time total. I don't want it to cut in half, right? So we're looking at which ones of these you could run Every recipe at full production, those are the ones that we are going to focus on a lot because the more recipes you could run, the more efficient your farm is going to run. So the first mod here is going to be grass drying. Cost of this production is going to be $100,000. Capacity is going to be a million liters. So you can put a lot of stuff in here, but I mean, that actually fills up pretty fast because... I mean, you can get a lot of grass off a field very, very quickly when you're making bales. Now, volume produced per month, only 48,000. It is the lowest here on the list. It also does not accept bales, and it doesn't run multiple recipes. So this does um, silage and hay. You can run both of these at the same time, but if you do, production is cut in half. So I honestly do not recommend this one if you're trying to make a lot of silage really quick. The next on the list are going to be the American fermenting silos. Now we have a small, medium, and a large, and you can see that they range anywhere from $60,000 up to $135,000 to place down. Your capacity for inputs and outputs is anywhere from 480,000 liters all the way up to 840,000 liters. I see what they did there. The volume produced each month, all three of these, doesn't matter the size, it's going to be 60,000 liters. Does not accept bales but it does allow for multiple recipes to be run at full production. So that could be a bonus. Maybe you don't have a lot and you need to take a full year to get it done. Well, yeah, this one's a good one for you. Next up is going to be the drying fermenter. This one costs $187,000 to put down. Now your input capacity is 430,000 liters, but your output capacity is only 360,000 liters. So keep that in mind. Volume produced per month, only 67,200. It does not accept bales, but it does run multiple recipes. The fourth mod here on the list is going to be the American Silos Pack. Now you have a small stave, a large stave, a steel small, and a large small. Now these look very, very close, 
to those right there, but those are the fermenting silo pack. You can tell because it's got a building next to it. These right here, the American silos pack, do not have the buildings. Now they range anywhere from $50,000 all the way up to $125,000 to place down. Your capacity is anywhere from 250,000 all the way up to 750,000 liters. Volume produced per month, these do have a range. We got 60,000 liters for the first one. Your large save is 120, back down to 96 for your steel small, and all the way back up to 144,000 for your steel large. That's pretty good. They also do accept bales. These are the first ones that you can actually put bales into. That's exciting. Uh, but you cannot run multiple recipes at full production. Uh, you're only going to be able to run one recipe. If you run more than one, you need more than one silo. Up next is your silage factory. Now, this one only costs $75,000 to put down. Your capacity is 400,000 liters. That is insane. Volume produced per month, hey, 240,000 liters. It does take bales, and you can run multiple recipes at full production. This one? This one might just be the top one. Making our way down the list, and we come to the fermenting silo pack. You have a small stave, a large stave, steel silo one, and steel silo two. They range anywhere from $60,000 all the way up to $250,000 to place down on your farm. Capacity, though, is anywhere from $358,000 all the way up to $925,000 liters. Volume produced per month is between $180,000 all the way up to 600,000 liters per month. That is the largest amount that we have had so far. Yes, it does take bales, but no, you cannot run multiple recipes at full production. So I would run only one thing in these again, or place down multiple. The Farm Factory. This one is the next on the list. And we have talked about this one before, and I even said that this might be the one production that you could replace all your other production mods with, but I'm not so sure anymore, guys. 50,000 liters to put down. Its capacity is 5 million liters. Volume produced per month, 720,000 liters. It does take bales, and you can run multiple recipes. This one, it's it might get back up to the top and stay there. Now, the Field Products Factory, we've looked at it also for making your TMR, and it's also great for making just silage. It is large and that's for a very, very good reason. Now, it only costs $100,000 to place down on your farm. Your capacity is 1.65 million liters. Your volume produced per, per month is almost 1.3 million. Now, it doesn't take bales, but you can run multiple recipes at the same time. So, you can make hay in this. You can make silage in this. You get some straw. You can make your TMR all at the same time, and it's not going to slow down. Now that, that sounds like a winner. Coming in at the cheapest mod to put down on your farm is the custom fermenting silo. Only $10,000 to place this down on your farm. Don't let that price fool you though. Your capacity for your inputs and outputs, 800,000 liters. Yes, the silo right here on the side holds 800,000 liters of product and your volume produced per month. Are you ready for this? 4.8 million. Yes, million. 4.8 million. That is over three times the amount, almost four times the amount of the field products factory. Guys, this one, it might, might knock the farm factory off the top spot. But I don't think we should put it there so fast because it does not accept bales, but it does allow multiple recipes to be run at full production. Now, last but not least, the multi-fermenter coming in with a cost of $120,000 to put down on your farm. Capacity for your inputs and outputs? Yep. 10 million. 10 million liters, guys. That is twice of any other mod here. The Farm Factory, 5 million. This one, 10. That is insane. If you like making silage, this one is the one that you want to hold all of your materials and also the volume produced per month, guys, 8.64 million. Yes, 8.64 million liters per month. Try harvesting all of that in one day. Now, there are a couple bad sides to this. It does not accept bales, and you cannot run multiple recipes at full production. 
But I think even at half production, you're still almost keeping up with the other one, the custom fermenting silo. I mean, seriously, this multi-fermenter at half rate is still 4.3 million, and your custom fermenting silo is 4.8. You can't make that thing any faster. This one, absolutely. 8.6 million. Now, another thing I wanted to go over really quick is where to find these in build mode. So you're going to come down here into construction, and then under your buildings, you can find some of these under silos. You go all the way across to the right. You can see that there are a few of these here, the American fermenting silos. You've also got the uh, fermenting silo pack. Those are the ones that are going to be here. Everything else is going to be under production and then your factories. All right. We're all the way over here to the right. Now you've got the silage factory, multi uh, fermenter, field products, factory, grass dryer, drying fermenter, farm factory. Now this is the other one right here, the farm factory um that does all of your other stuff this one is a great mod too i'm gonna go ahead and give this one a shout out i got a link video up above check it out it's awesome so we're gonna keep going across here the custom fermenting silo um but this little guy right here okay the bale chipper i was gonna save this but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys for fifty thousand dollars you could put down this little bitty structure right here all right and um it, it's gonna chip up your bales for you that way you don't have to have a facility over there that accepts bales. This right here can do it for you. So all you're going to have to do is put your bales in right here. It's going to chop them up. You pick them back up and then you deliver it over there with your bulk trailer as a, a bulk grass and, and you're good to go, right? So for $50,000, you could make that multi fermenter work for you, right? Because it doesn't accept bales or the custom fermenting silo, or the field products factory. The top three in the volume produced per month do not accept bales. So use this little guy right here, $50,000. I mean, you're going to make that back literally in minutes. Oh, hey, and by the way, this thing holds 10 million liters of product for you. Now that's each crop type, okay? Each crop type, not total, 10 million liters. So you could actually use this as just a really nice silo in and of itself. Well, guys, that's all of them. And I'm not going to list which one I think is the best or my favorite because I think it all depends on what type of farm you're running. So there's all the data. Use it as you want. If you've got another one that I didn't put on the list, let me know down in the comments below because these are really awesome. And I like being able to do this so we don't have to mess with those base game uh, buildings, the, the storage things. They make me so angry. I, seriously, I don't understand why we got something to base game. That doesn't work for all the bail types. That's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on my future testing videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.